about radio. Hi guys, if you build yourself a little transmitter like this, you know, this sort of thing I've shown you before, VHF FM transmitter, biggest problem you're likely to have is establishing the, uh, the operating frequency and uh, before you get to that you, you've got to establish that the transmitter is actually working and that's difficult to do if you don't know the, the actual operating frequency. Um, so you've got two things, you're trying to work out is it working and what frequency is it working on. Well, the first thing to establish whether or not it's oscillating, very uh, decent test equipment uh, is can be tricky to do, but I put together a, a little gizmo that uh, will help you. It's very simple, it's uh, uh, a little coil, um, in this case uh, the coil is wound uh, around the end of a tube from a WD-40 uh, spray can, but uh, you could wind it round the uh, the end of a biro or a plastic knitting needle, bit of wood even. It's got to be round something that's non-metallic. And um, uh, there's a, a diode and a capacitor, and uh, the output is connected to this little meter here. So uh, I'll switch the the transmitter on, and if you watch the meter as I approach the coil there, so you'll see as the two coils couple magnetically, so you'll see the meters giving a reading. Uh, the meters on uh, 2 volts DC, so it's not a lot of voltage, but it's a clear indication that the equipment is oscillating. Um, so it can be very tricky uh, to establish uh, is it oscillating uh, or not without something. So, th so that should help you to establish that it's working. Remember, depending upon the design, if you overload the oscillator, you could block it and uh, pop a transistor off, so uh, be careful. And again, uh, a much bigger coil on this one. You can see that we're getting a lot more voltage developed in the probe. So if it's not oscillating, you won't get a reading. Having said that, uh, depending on what coil you make, the size of it, um, it can pick up your mobile phone or any other um, uh, extraneous radio frequencies uh, uh, that uh, that's in the vicinity. But the uh, the circuit for it is very simple: as the detector coil, and then there's a, a little diode in there and uh, a capacitor. Uh, I'm using a BAT85. Uh, the capacitor is a 0 0.1 microfarad. Uh, that's the negative uh, voltage out to the meter and that's the positive uh, volts out to the meter and of course that is DC because of uh, this guy. And uh, I've probably got about uh, uh, 20 or so turns on there. Um, you can experiment and see what suits you best for the frequency that you're working at. Um, as kids we used to make uh, things like this, called a sniffer um, or a signal uh, detector. Um, we used to make things like that. Uh, with ex-ministry equipment we could uh, uh, buy meters like this um, uh, this one's a hundred microamps but you can get a, a 50 microamp meter and typically we'd put a, um, a, a 50 microamp meter there doesn't need a battery or anything this this will just detect that signal um, but, um, when I was going through my meters, uh, look at this one. Uh, this is uh, a lovely uh, meter. This is a 30 milliamp meter, and uh, you can see this one is uh, the AM there, tells you that it's uh, Air Ministry. Um, uh, 
uh, but uh, look at the date there guys, 1942. Uh, boy, if, uh, if only this meter could talk, I wonder what bit of equipment uh, that came out of and um, what sort of stories uh, that could tell. Anyway, I've made several different probes. Um, I'll show you how I made this one. This one's made in a, a biro. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's relative to the size of the coil if you've got a larger coil. I'll just uh, connect this one up and show you that. Very if, the if the small coil works for you, then fine, you, you go with it. It's, uh, not a problem, and uh, oh, I'll show you something else you can do with these. By the way, the uh, the diode and the capacitor in this probe are simply taped onto the side of the little uh, plastic tube there. Yeah, something else you can do if you've got a, a radio and you're not sure if the radio is oscillating um, uh, you can get the meter into here. If you get by the uh, oscillator coil you see there we're picking up the oscillator. Um, now you wouldn't get that if the radio wasn't oscillating and as I'm catching that desperately well, but, uh, you see that. So I say, useful little tool, uh, a sniffer. I'm using the end of a, an old biro to wind the coil around. I've cut off the pointed bit and I've drilled a couple of holes uh, in there to uh, to put the wires through, and. Um, this wire is um, uh, there, so uh, uh, 0.315 millimetre wire. So it's quite uh, quite thin, but it could be thinner, um, or it could have been thicker. It's 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 not it's not critical. Um, and what I've done is I've covered the uh, uh, wire with uh, this stuff. Um, but essentially it's it's just the same as uh, red nail varnish or any colour nail <laughs> varnish. Um, and that's just consolidated. I'll give it a, a couple more coats just to protect the, uh, the wire. The diode that I'm going to be using is um, uh, a BAT85. That is a T, BAT85. And that's this uh, tiny little fella here. Um, it wants to be a signal diode, really. It doesn't want to be um, uh, a switching diode. Uh, so a, a, a nice germanium diode. That's a, a, an OA47. That would do the job quite happily. Anyway, I'm using the BAT85. Uh, and the capacitor is going to be um, uh, a 0.1 microfarad so uh, um, that's um, there you go uh, um, uh, 100 uh, thousand picofarad 100 nanofarad or 0 0.1 microfarad however you like to call it and the number on that that is 104 and uh, that's the circuit so we've got a coil the diode and the capacitor and I'm just going to feed that, hopefully, into the pin. Right, so that's the capacitor and diode in place. So I'll just thread that through there. Or I'll tie a knot in this uh, wire so that it doesn't pull out. Okay, so that's the knot in the wire, and that can go up there. 
and then that, that stops the uh, and that, that stops the wire from pulling out. Okay, so I'll just strip the ends and connect them to the meter. Okay, we're on two volts, so that should read nothing. And then uh, if we get a little transmitter in place, and uh, connect its supply. So as I remove this coil to the coil, so you see we've got a, a voltage. So we know the oscillator section of that transmitter is working. It doesn't tell us anything about the frequency, uh, but it tells us about uh, the fact that it is producing something. Oh, uh, by the way, that's a, uh, a three uh, transistor circuit. Let me just go back and show you the sort of uh, voltage readings we've got. So 0 0.21 um, there and uh, I'll show you uh, this is a one transistor transmitter although it's got uh, three transistors on it. Uh, um, two of them are only uh, uh, separate um, multi-vibrator and uh, on this one when I switch the transmitter on here we get 0.04 volts so very low voltage that's off and on but you can see there is definitely a voltage there so you can see that uh, there is some activity what I might do is I might um, just put a little transistor amplifier on the end of this. Um, that I don't need to, but uh, just out of interest. Anyway, uh, I hope you find this uh, video interesting. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.